artist, and how are you today? Today will be a great day. Today we will read a silly story called The Color Monster, and then we will create our own color monsters. Let's create Love Miss Collier. Let's read The Color Monster. Before we read the story The Color Monster, let's take a look at the author and illustrator. This is a picture of Anna Yanis, and she is the author and the illustrator. That means she wrote the words for the story and she drew all the pictures, and she lives in Spain. If we look at our map, you can see the big blue dot is where we live in Kentucky, and the, all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, that red dot is where Anna lives in Spain. Many people who live in Spain also speak Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? The Color Monster, a story about emotions. Written by Anna Yanis. This is the color monster. Today, he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, color monster? Your emotions don't work well when they're all jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you feel. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. What does it feel like when you feel happy? Yeah, it feels so good. What do you do when you're happy? I like to dance and play outside when I'm happy. This is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. When you're sad, you hide and want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. It's okay to cry, color monster. Have you ever cried before? Me too. What makes you sad? This is anger. It burns red like a fire. It's hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Sometimes you want to take your anger out on others, but I'll be nice to you, color monster, and your anger will disappear. What do you look like when you're angry? What makes you angry? This is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows. But I can help you find your way. What are you afraid of? This is calm and as quiet like the trees and as light as green leaves swaying in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Have you ever felt calm before? What does your body feel like when you're calm? Now you can rest, Color Monster. All your feelings are in the right place. See? Don't you feel much better? Tell me, how do you feel now? What do you think Color Monster is feeling now? 
How do you feel now? Hmm. Let's create our own color monster. This project, Miss Color is going to use oil pastels and watercolor paints, but you can use whatever you have at home. If you do have watercolor paints, but you don't have oil pastels, but you have crayons instead, that'll work perfectly too. If you don't have watercolors, and you just have crayons or markers or colored pencils, use those. Let's get started. First, we're going to draw our color monster. So make two ears and some hair in between the ears. They look kind of like upside down V's. We'll draw the body. To make him look hairy, we'll make little sideways V's. Connect it down at the bottom. Then we'll add some legs. Make two short lines and two more for the other leg. And add some toes for the feet. Then give your color monster a mouth. You can make your color monster smiling or frowning, and you might add a couple teeth. For the arms, off to his side, do two lines and then a short little hand. Do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget his eyes. And last but not least, give him some eyebrows. Make short lines to make their eyebrows look nice and fuzzy. For your final, final detail, draw some short lines to make your color monster look hairy. Next, pick a color and add some beautiful marks inside your color monster. I'm gonna use green for my first color. You can use whatever color you want. Use a couple colors to fill your color monster with beautiful color. I picked light green, dark green, and blue. When your color monster is full of color, then, Miss Collier is going to use her watercolor paints to fill in all the white spaces. I'm going to color my color monster green so I have some water and a paintbrush. I get my paint nice and wet and then I am going to spread that beautiful green paint and fill in all the white spaces. Let's fast forward and take a look. Let me know. Don't forget to sign your work and have fun. Bye!